hello friends welcome to abacus acumen for quick and sound learning in this video tutorial i will explain you about the johnson cook material model and its a damage evaluation the video or the simulation what uh, you are seeing on your screen is a sharp impact test which has been performed using the Johnson Cook uh, material model with uh, with the damage criteria and you can clearly see the how the sample is uh, is fractured and uh, bro broke into two pieces so such kind of simulations one can very well simulate using the Johnson Cook material model I will explain you about the use of application areas of Johnson Cook material and the constitutive equation uh, for the Johnson Cook material model when we talk about about uh, the Johnson Cook material model so these are the various uh, application areas one can use the Johnson Cook material model so one is uh, that is a sharp impact test this is a quick and a low cost uh, impact test to understand the the fracture strength of the material so this is also called as sharp V notch uh, test and there is another uh, area is a vehicle crash uh, explicit model wherein one can uh, generate the strain rate sensitive material data of this uh, steel structures various steel uh, grade st materials and then we can plug uh, you, or we can express uh, these uh, strain rate sensitive stress strain data using the Johnson Cook material model and there is another area which is the armor steel application where where if the high speed bullet is impacting to this uh, steel barriers so in that case uh, the this steel barri barrier will experience uh, the high strain effect as well as there will be some temperature elevated temperatures as well and so why we need to uh, consider this Johnson Cook material model when a uh, material he experiences high strain rates under the impact conditions so mostly in the impact conditions the material is experiences the high strain rates at the end also last strain and also there are chances that the temperatures are at higher higher level and when we uh, model this scenario of impact scenarios using the conventional method of say quasi-static uh, approach then uh, the behavior will significantly differs and we may not be able to capture the the actual uh, phenomena so researcher researchers has uh, you know worldwide researchers have uh, extensively worked and proposed the several material model case by case and and there is no one universal model which can uh, represent or account all the parameters such as the high strain rate the last strain the elevated temperature and the reliable but at the same time the reliable prediction is under the impact loading is very critical for the accurate design so in that case this this is the one uh, one material model which is clearly stand out uh, as, as a, a right fit for simulating this high strain effect so that is uh, the Johnson Crook uh, material model which is a very popular uh, constitutive material model used for widely used for metal uh, uh, simulations which are subjected to uh, penetration and uh, large strain uh, effects so there are few examples like as I explained before there are automotive applications some high-speed machineries uh, defense applications such as battle tanks and high-speed project impact or armor see that these are the few of the applications we can we can uh, uh, very well use this uh, Johnson Cook material model so this is a, a very a famous uh, equation so uh, I will just give you the what is this uh, Johnson Cook in uh, constitutive equation is and what are the parameters we need to understand and uh, and let's uh, interpret what this equation is so the, this is the uh, Sigma EQ that is equivalent uh, stress one can calculate uh, you know can be represented or calculated using uh, the these three terms so the first term is uh, is the is a hardening law that is a power law which represents the stress strain that is a normal stress strain uh, curve uh, with the with the a as a yield stress and uh, b as a strain hardening parameter and then uh, this is a plastic uh, strain which is power to the n so n is uh, the strain hardening exponent and then there is a second term so this second term is a uh, is accounts for the strain rate effect uh, into the model and this is uh, so we can represent using this 1 plus uh, c uh, logarithm to n 
and uh, this parameter is uh, it, it accounts the strain rate uh, sensitivity part and where C is uh, the strain rate sensitivity parameter that is C and then and this particular term is accounts for the strain rate effect into the material into this material and there is a last term that that accounts for the temperature effect so this particular we can calculate it calculate it using this uh, t uh, raised to m and this m is uh, nothing but the the temperature exponent so this all these parameters that is a b and c m all these parameters one can calculate it uh, you know estimate using the experiment test and uh, this experiment uh, tests are uh, usually conducted uh, in a unixl direction and using uh, the 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 specimen so all those details there is a uh, one uh, one i will give you the reference to the to the paper a technical paper you can go through it and understand uh, the method of uh, calculating these parameters that is a b and c m through this uh, experiments that is a tensile uh, uh, pull uh, test and let me uh, explain you like uh, how this uh, you know significance of this uh, equation so this is a curve that is a stress strain curve and this we can fit it using this uh, hardening law that is a power law and then when we pull the same specimen or same material with a higher strain rate and we can expect the the yield stress or the ultimate stress goes uh, above this uh, the normal uh, strain rate curve that is a low speed curve and then at the same time the failure strain also reduces so this behavior we can expect and this particular data we can generate through this uh, uh, tensile uh, st uh, test and we can fit in or represent using this uh, term that is a strain rate uh, term and then the last one is uh, the temperature effect so when we have at elevated temperature the metal can uh, become little soft softer and uh, and the effect and the stress strain if you uh, effect will be different compared to the normal speed and the high speed uh, uh, stress strain curve so we can also account this kind of particular behavior using this uh, this this particular term so so in all the johnson cook is a is a is a is a material model which will account use all these three effects uh, in in one equation or one go so that is a stress strain behavior that is a normal stress strain behavior using the power law and then the strain rate effects so this green curve strain rate effect can be accounted with a with a proper representation of uh, these constants and uh, then the temperature effect also we can account uh, in this uh, same johnson cook equation and then uh, let's uh, let's understand the johnson cook failure or damage model so this is the fracture strain equation which uh, typically accounts the three terms it it, it consists of three terms one is just uh, accounts the stress uh, triaxiality that is at the stress levels and then the the strain rate effect and then the temperature and d1 d2 to d5 these are the damage uh, accounts for the damage factors and these are the material constants so these particular d1 to d5 we need to evaluate uh, using the experiment and there is a method to do it and that is well captured in one of the reference paper what uh, what i'm going to show you and then there is a few other terms we need to look into to understand the the this damage model so all these uh, parameters we can very well define in in abacus using the plasticity model as well as uh, the damage evaluation criteria so with this equation what uh, we are typically doing is uh, the material damage is accounted and the fracture strength we can calculate uh, using this equation so once we plug in or define these uh, damage that is uh, values that is d1 to d5 so abacus will account for for these factors and give us the the effect of this damage on at the specimen level or at the application level <coughs> these are the 
the parameter so i just referred one more paper and uh, this is the parameter uh, developed through the experiment for the aluminum and the steel grade and these are the param uh, that is a parameter that is a b n and whatever like all other parameters were evaluated and this is tabulated uh, is something it's available in literature for your your material the one you are trying to evaluate we need to you need to uh, conduct some experiments and and derive these uh, uh, these parameters on yourself and uh, and these are the uh, failure model uh, information about d1 to d5 factors so all this we can define into the johnson cook material model through abacus ca software and we can evaluate the application so these are the two references so these are so what i strongly recommend you to un go through this uh, papers technical papers so so this is the first paper which talks about the experimental uh, method of uh, calculating uh, a b c and all those uh, parameters that is material constants through the experiment and also followed by the the damage uh, uh, factors that is d1 to d5 and this paper really uh, i recommend you to go through it and understand the method of calculation and there is one more uh, paper which is available is a dissolved system paper so this talks about uh, the parameters so this uh, parameters what i have showed you i hope this information will give you a good start to know and understand the get familiar with the johnson cook uh, material model and once you go through this uh, two uh, two papers highlighted here you can uh, you can uh, develop your uh, deeper understanding about this johnson cook material model in next video i will uh, show you uh, the abacus ca method of uh, setting up this uh, setting up this uh, charp impact test and uh, evaluate for the the energy internal energy absorbed for the material uh, under this uh, charp impact test so guys uh, i hope uh, you find this video useful please like us uh, on the uh, for this video and also i recommend you to subscribe so that uh, you can get uh, the information about the next video as well thank you bye bye